Hey guys, it's Melanie and today I am going to share my review of Light My Soy's cake candle. So if you have watched any of my recent videos, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with this particular fragrance. I have several backups of this candle because I just cannot get enough of it. Um, what you're seeing here is the 16 ounce version of this candle. I chose not to have any dye added to mine. Um, you can specify when you check out at Light My Soy whether you would like dye added to your candles. Um, I like the color of the natural soy wax. It's just a creamy white, so um, I just left it plain, and I think it looks very pretty like that. Um, so this candle retails for $17. When I purchased most of my candles from Light My Soy, it was when they had the 15% off sale during the month of February. I do believe that they are going to be having um, another sale probably in the next couple of months or so. So just keep checking the website and I will of course update you guys um, if I know of any sales or coupon codes coming up. So um, rest assured, I'll update you either on Instagram or on my channel to make sure that you know, if you want to make a purchase from them and you want to wait until the cans candles are on sale again, that you know that a sale is coming up. So, okay, so let's talk about cake. I'm so obsessed with this. I just like cannot get enough of it. The notes on the website read rich vanilla, pure cane sugar topped with smooth, creamy white frosting. Um, from the sounds of that, you could maybe think that it was like an overly sweet, like cloyingly sweet kind of vanilla candle, but it's really not. Um, it is so soft and so pretty. Like I would bet that there is not a person out there that could dislike this particular fragrance. Even if you're not normally into um, like bakery type scents, I feel like this one is so neutral and just so <laughs> delicious, you guys. It smells very similar when it's burning. Um, to when it does on like cold throw. It just like warms up and is even richer, if that makes sense. The vanilla that you're getting is a vanilla bean, not a like French vanilla scent. I have a major aversion to anything French vanilla and this smells very much like a true vanilla bean to me. Um, it kind of smells like a mix of the Briars vanilla bean ice cream and like a vanilla cake like a really dense vanilla cake. Um, the frosting note is, you know, it's definitely there. It does have that sweetness of like, uh, like a frosting, but it's again, not overly disgustingly sweet. I feel like this is like the most neutral guest friendly candle that you could ever burn in your home. It honestly just smells like you are baking and it is delicious and I cannot get enough of this fragrance. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to tell you about in terms of the fragrance. Um, it just really is very true to the description on the website. I really don't smell anything extra or like anything is missing, um, in the actual candle from the description online. So, um, I think, you know, if you like the description, you're probably going to like the candle. In terms of the overall performance of the Light My Soy candles, I have yet to be disappointed by any of the um, candles that I've burned or any of the wax tarts that I've used. I will say that the tarts that um, Light My Soy makes, they are a little bit more difficult to clean out of your uh, warmers in that they're not the type that you can just pop into the freezer and then they come out in like a solid chunk after a couple of hours you really kind of have to like warm the uh, wax up and then pour it out. <laughs> I found that that is the best way to go about it, which can be a little bit messy. So I really prefer the, um, I really prefer the candles from Light My Soy. They're so clean burning, like there is no soot on this jar at all. And it has burned perfectly like the whole way down. When I first got the candle, the wax was poured up to the very top here. It does have two wicks, as you can see in there, and that is to evenly help um, warm the wax and to help with an evenly distributed wax pool. When I first um, light up the Light My Soy candles, I do use a little tin foil hat on them like this. Um, 
And that just helps to have the wax um, pull out a little bit quicker on the first burn because it can take quite some time for it to pull out the first go around. Subsequent burns though, um, it pulls out pretty quickly on its own and I don't have to use the tin foil at all. The throw is amazing. I can smell this all the way upstairs. I would put it at close to a nine. Like it is legit, like it is a strong candle, but even though it's so strong, it's still not sickeningly sweet, you know? Um, it's just so unique, and um, I'm impressed with the throw. It's fantastic. I was not expecting it to be as strong as it is because vanilla scents can definitely be kind of on the weaker end of the spectrum. So I don't know what kind of oils they are using in their candles, but they are amazing. Um, I also find that there there isn't a variance in the strength of the throw like as the candle is going down like the throw is very even the entire way down the candle i have finished one complete um 16 ounce candle and that was in the scent angel amaretto which is delicious as well um and it smelled just as strong when it was at the very end as it did at like the very beginning so there isn't any kind of variation like there is sometimes with like the Yankee candles. You know, you can start out with a decent throw and then it just tends to like peter out. This I can smell like solidly every single day that I light the candle. So this is my third day of burning this candle for at least nine hours a day. Now, they don't recommend that you burn the candles this long. <laughs> I think probably the best thing is to burn them for maybe like five hours at a time. But I'm home all day with Stella and so, and the scent frankly just makes me really happy. So you can see that it's gone down a fair amount, but that is after burning it for almost 10 hours, three days in a row. So that's 30 hours right there. And it really hasn't budged all that much from where it started, which again was right about here. So, um... I love how clean burning the soy is. I don't notice any soot coming up. Um, the flames are always really nice and tall, and I'll give you a view from the top here. So you can see those flames are nice and strong. Um, the wicks that they use are cotton and um, just work extremely well. I have never had an issue with the wicks. They usually, um, I just trim like the mushroom top off of them when I go to light them again and that's all that I do. I don't make them any shorter because they stay pretty much the same length the whole way down. Um, just beautiful, you guys. I highly, highly recommend that you try Light My Soy. Um, I will put a link to their website down below um, and if there's any scent that like you want to try, I would say start with the cake, especially if you're a bakery person, just to like try it out. Um, but the descriptions that they have for all of the different candles are phenomenal. I really, um, I'm just really impressed with, with everything that they offer here. So I really hope that you guys go check them out. Um, I, again, will let you guys know when they are having a sale the next time around. Um, and you know, maybe if you want to wait for then, I would totally understand, but I do think they are 100% worth the money um and this one here is certainly my favorite so i hope that you guys enjoyed this review of the cake scent please leave me any questions down below and if you have burned this candle yourself definitely let me know what your thoughts are on it so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you have a great day Bye bye